Hi, my name is Sophie and I'm a first year medicine student at the University of Sunderland. So many people put off applying to medical school either because of grades or just because they feel like they can't put in a competitive application. In this video I'll be explaining the routes into medicine, how you can maximise your chances of getting into medical school and also explaining defers and resits. Traditionally, most people apply to medical school straight after sixth form. To apply through this route, you would have to sit the UCAT or the BMAT and you would also need your teacher predicted grade and submit a UCAS application by the 15th of October. If successful, you would then be invited to an interview and after that you may be given a conditional offer to study medicine. With the condition usually being that you get three A's in your A level with one of them being at least chemistry and another science. Although some medical schools may want you to get an A star and two A's or two A stars and an A. Another route into medical school is through doing a foundation year, such as the one offered by King's College. These usually have widening participation requirements, but they also have lower A-level requirements. And there are quite a few unis that offer foundation route programmes, such as King's College in London. You can also apply to medical school as a graduate, which is what I did. Even though I was considering medicine at sixth form, I wasn't fully fixed on it, but I knew I liked biology and chemistry. So because of that, I decided to do biochemistry at Lancaster University and now study medicine as a graduate. There are two ways that you can apply as a graduate, either onto the graduate entry course or onto the standard five entry course. So onto the graduate entry course, this is a four year programme. It's usually more intense than the five year programme because of course you're just cramming it into four years. And for these medical schools, you may need to sit the UCAC, BMAT or even the GAMSAT. But on the other hand, you can also apply to a five year medical school programme as a graduate. And with both of these graduate entry routes, you're normally required to have at least a 2-1 in your degree, though this might not have to be a science degree. Another route into medicine, but this one's a bit more rare, is a transfer from another course. For example, at Newcastle University, you do a biomedical science related degree and after first year you can transfer onto the medical course. But of course, this would be really competitive. There are also courses such as clinical sciences at the University of Bradford, and this usually allows for a transfer for a select number of students to the University of Leeds to study medicine. And before the transfer, you would have had to do the BMAT. Another way you can study medicine is by doing it abroad. So you can either do this in the EU or potentially even outside of the EU. After that, you may have to sit additional tests to practice in the UK. Of course, this might not be as practical because you have to move countries and also because of Brexit. But it is another route that might be worth considering. And in just under three weeks, I can't believe we're about to hit a thousand views. Thanks everyone for interacting with the channel and for your feedback. I hope you enjoyed this new video and hopefully I'm not talking as quick and that the video is actually long enough. And I'll see you all next Friday.